Yo, what's up everybody? It is your boy Empty. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, wherever you are. So, um, you know, decided to log into the game. Need to grind the Hatsune event. And I look at the information tab, say, you know, we got the, uh, the Hatsune stuff, which is kind of cool, right? We scroll down, down here. We're going to start off here. The Super Forever Summons Part 1. Now, as you see up here, you're getting Miranda and Juno added to the list. This is Part 1. So I do believe that maybe they'll be added in Part 2 because that's usually what they do. They split up the good units, you know, and decide to put them in both parts. Um, but if we're looking here, you know, we, we see the fire units, the usual suspects, you know, you have Berwick, Swig, Sandstone, you know, usual units to pull from. Then you have the water units, which goes over, like, basically, would you expect, uh, you know, Mizuki and Thetis and Vox, you know, that's kind of cool. And then you get to the grass or <laughs> earth, sorry. <laughs> I look at green and I just think grass. Um, yeah, you know completely fine then you get to the light now you're not going to see june up here but you do see uh miranda and you do see lisa as well as noel and luz so you know getting we're gonna be getting juno in part two and just pause the video to see each individual one uh we do not have dark fan oh wait we do have him it's right here uh, i didn't see him um yeah he's right under ash um yeah we do see what dark units will be in this as well so you know this is kind of crazy um of course they aren't showing uh the one they aren't showing juno but they will be showing the ones that will be in this uh part one uh forever Summer, which is very very nice is haruto up here yes yes oh neat so you have multiple chances to get uh the units that you want from the forever summons i'm really stoked about this actually um <laughs> there are a couple units i don't have that i actually do want so yeah hopefully uh <laughs> hopefully i pull them this fox boy who the fuck is this like at the end here um holy shit all right let's move on to the next one the fourth anniversary crystal giveaway um this will be the unit of choice not crystals so the unit of choice tickets have all also been brought back and this is honestly good because they decided to add a couple new units fire basically ruby ninja princess um hanoka uh for water they decided to add Felis and weaver and malia water malia for earth they decided to add norn mira and bell now the ones you're mainly going after if if you're going for earth is either norn or mira if you want to have the uh earth trio um for light eternia which i'm not sure who she is and for dark they added ash and dark zior so that's kind of cool and they go after they go over all the um true weapons currently but they're adding five more they're adding ash's um true weapon true is anagi which is actually extremely busted and really really fucking good it's probably the best argent equip for physical uh water malia's um true weapon uh true griffin and true exceed which the ones you want out of these tickets now are basically going to be izanagi or exceed because they're very very good argent items and uh exceed i believe does have like a damage buff i believe and of course the anniversary digest is basically like a small little roadmap we're going to be having the super forever summons for an entire month uh then we're going to have the crystals the ctb daily quest which is actually really really cool and it all starts february 7th i believe that is tomorrow oh that's crazy we're going to be having a new main story chapter we're going to be having login bonuses main a main story celebration rewards and quest that looks actually pretty cool and of course chloe not chloe what the fuck is it? <laughs> it's literally in front sophie sophie finally gets her awakening and i think her thing is supposed to be difficult I'm not entirely too sure but you can finally awaken her she has a five star support slot for fire which is really cool and then we're going to be having the bonded by bullets uh event quest which is fire roy's event and then the ultra uh ultra trial events so all the luck units events i guess will be coming dungeon trials will be coming back as well and a new floor added to each one. Oh, floor 13 i don't think i've gotten past floor 11 so <laughs> let's go that's a lot of stuff to take in and i'm actually really really stoked hopefully you know we all 
I mean, that's a lot of content. I haven't touched the game, like, as much. I only log in and do, like, the daily quests. But now this is giving me more incentive to play. Um, still have to do the Hatsune stuff. Um, they're doing the giveaway. And they have a whole roadmap thing, too, with uh, Hatsune. That you could probably follow in the in the informations tab but yeah that's about it i was not expecting to wake up to that many news i think it came out late last night um but yeah getting some um some good old content i think everybody's still kind of tired from doing like everything else that just happened but it's good to see you know they they let up with a rerun event with the whole um anniversary stuff going on which is cool so yeah it's only looking up from here let me know what you all think and let me know what you're excited for who are you going to be pulling i don't know i still want that weird water unit i don't think um the weird fox guy or wolf <laughs> um but yeah uh, let me know what you think comment like sub and yeah i should have a showcase out for hatsune miku um time has been escaping me but i'll get it done today all right see ya oh,